if you look at where you've got to today, how did it all start? Uh, I mean, you weren't always in the insurance business. No, not at all. Um, I started out life studying English and psychology. And I was a teacher psychologist in a couple of schools in Grahamstown for two years. And then after that, I was a stay-at-home mum for seven years. And from there, via running political campaigns, landed up in insurance. Has it helped you in the business world today, your background, all that experience? I think the diversity of what I've done certainly has helped. Um, I think if you get back to the role of a woman, um, I think that you, if you're a woman in business, um, you have that continuous balance between your job and your family. Your career is important, your kids and your husband are important, and how do you balance that? And I think that almost gives you a depth of experience, and I suppose one could call it compassion for people at work. Yes, you make a, a great play on, on the people that you employ and how you must look after them. We're a small company and as a small company we have to employ the best. You say you're a small company but I, I was looking at the, the sort of backing you've got and your, the figures that go yes, with it. Yes. 340 million as a reserve situation with shareholders promising more yes, in the future yes, if needed. Yes. How much more? Well, that would depend on how we grow. Um, our shareholders are generous and they prepare to back us. They're not prepared to back us if we lose money, but certainly if uh, more capital is required because of growth, then yes, they are prepared to back us. Our target market is owner-run businesses. We like to deal with the decision makers in the business and we like to deal with your small to medium sized brokers. And so we're not looking at your corporates, we're looking at, at dealing with someone where the person that we interact with is the person that owns the business that has a say in the running of the business. How do you sell yourself to your clients that you can do a better job than those already existing in the marketplace? We sell our clients the flexibility of being a smaller new company. We don't have precedence, and so we can really run our businesses with our brokers in any way which makes sense to both parties. In some respects, I, I think you're saying that you are offering a personal relationship. We're offering relationship a personal relationship, and, and we're offering the flexibility. But how long can that last the bigger you grow? It's something that we have to guard against as we grow. And um, I think that is where the employment of staff becomes so important. We've taken a decision at Infinity that we will only employ the best. We'll only employ people at a senior level. And um, yes, the personality of those people is vitally important. It's, a, it's almost a breaking down into smaller, chewable chunks of a business, so that businesses are run as a small business. Do you possibly think that somewhat in the world, to encapsulate the whole thing, that we've lost the art of a one-on-one -on -one business and you're now just a number or a client? I think that um, certainly there are many insurance companies in South Africa where that is the case. Um, and certainly it, we're guarding against getting there. Yes, it, 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 it appears to be that in South African society mm. we seem to have lost the art of who the customer is. I think that you are not wrong um, and, and I think that's what we're guarding against. I mean one of, the, one of the things you will see from there is that the complaints line comes through directly to me. I'm seeing what is actually being said. Um, we had our first ever Hello Peter complaint recently which I responded to myself. I see you, you cover a lot of aircraft uh, we insurance. Do. We do. Now that's a very specialised field. Very specialised and that's run by a lady called Carly Ranger who works out of Cape Town. Um, it's a branch of Infinity and yes it is very very specialised and she's an expert in what she does. Having looked at that air thing, the next thing I looked yes. at, where's the shipping? <laughs> <laughs> we do have a marine play, Trimarine. Do you? Yes, so you're covering with yes, we do. That's a UMA yeah. run by Ian Smith, and that's and also Cape Town based, coincidentally. 
Is it yes, a precarious marine. thing to be involved in marine insurance at the moment if one looks at piracy and things like that? <laughs> I think it's always precarious unless you know what you're doing, and that's why we utilise specialists. Talking about you only being in the uh, position for the last two months or so, has it been a hard road to get there? I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed the journey immensely. Um, yeah. Yes, there have been times when it's been difficult. Gender? And Was that gender-wise? Because Were you pushed aside because you were a... A female? I've never felt that I've been pushed aside because I was a female. Well, I've certainly always been conscious of having to do things a little bit better. Um, and I've certainly been conscious of probably having to prove myself before I'd be taken seriously. Sharon, you've grown the business to a, an enormous degree uh, a, 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 and now it's your turn. Yes. How are you going to grow it more? What are you looking for in the future? What, what does the future hold? What are your dreams? My dreams are to take this to this business to four times its size, it's large. Um, which is a large dream. But we're not prepared to grow at a risk to our current client base. Our existing clients are far more important than any potential new clients. But yes, we do want to grow. We do want to reproduce what we have. I have superb people around me. We've just employed a lady I worked with years ago who will be um, running with the broker books of business, overseeing the broker books of business and writing new business. And, and yes, it's, we're also looking at a couple of different areas, which I can't say too much more about right now. We've got someone researching them for us. And so, yeah, it's going into different things, doing different things. I like doing anything that's different. I think insurance will always be a factor. People do need to insure. Um, when times are bad, you find that your people with less money might drop the insurance, but conversely, the people with more money insure more because they can't afford to take the risk of themselves any longer. I think a challenge that we have as insurers is to move that market into areas where people have previously not insured and to show to them the value and worth of having an insurance policy. If you were giving advice to other females in this industry, what would it be? I'd say hold your head up high and, and go do it because you can.